Now we will see capturing form data in PHP. In PHP, we collect form data using superglobal variables like get, post and request. Get variable contains a list of all the field names and values sent by a form using the get method. That is via the URL parameters. Post variable contains a list of all field names and values sent by a form using post method. Here data will not be visible in the URL. And request variable contains the value of both get and post variables as well as the value of the cookie superglobal variable. First we will see get method. Get request is a default form request. The data passed through the get request is visible on the URL browser so it is not secured. It is an associative array of variables passed to the current script via URL parameters. Note that the array is not only populated for get request but rather for all requests with a query string. You can send limited amount of data through get request. Get variables are passed through URL decode function. In general, a URL with get data will look like this. First HTTP, then website name, the file name that is action.php and name and age are the parameters whose value is displayed using get method. Information sent from a form with a get method is visible to everyone. That is all variable names and values are displayed in the URL. Get also has limits on the amount of information to send. This limitation is about 2000 characters. However, because the variables are displayed in the URL, it is possible to bookmark the page. This can be useful in some cases. Get may be used for sending non-sensitive data. Get should never be used for sending passwords or other sensitive information. Next is post method. If a form uses post method, the web browser will include the form data in the HTTP request body. After submitting the form, you can access the form data via the associative array dollar $post in PHP. For example, if a form has an input element with the name email, you can access the email value in PHP via dollar $post and the email that is variable name. Information sent from a form with the POST method is invisible to others and has no limits on the amount of information to send. POST method supports advanced functionality such as support for multi-part binary input while uploading the files to the server. However, because the variables are not displayed in the URL, it is not possible to bookmark the page. Difference between POST and GET methods are In POST method, values are not visible in the URL. Whereas with get method, values are visible in the URL. Post method has no limitation of the length of the values since they are submitted via body of HTTP. Get method has limitation on the length of the values, usually 255 characters. This is because the values are displayed in the URL. Note that upper limit of the character is depend on the browser. Post method has lower performance compared to get method. Due to time spent encapsulation, the PHP post values in the HTTP body. Get method has high performance compared to the post method due to simple nature of the appending values in the URL. Post method supports many different data types such as string, numeric, binary, etc. Get method supports only string data types because the values are displayed in the URL. Results from post method cannot be bookmarked. 
With get method, results can be bookmarked due to the visibility of the values in the URL. Here is the code for form with get method. Here first HTML tag and body tag is written and in form tag action and methods are defined. With action method form handler dot php is called and method is get. Then two input text boxes name and email are defined and in php we will get dollar name equal to dollar get name since we have used here get method here we use dollar get and here another code is written with forms post method here under form tag method is used as a post and while writing the php we will use dollar post and the text box name name.